Hey everybody, this is uh, going to be a tutorial on how to go ahead and not only route your phone, but uh, to install the Hero ROM on the HTC Magic. I've got the, um, uh, the HTC Magic from Rogers, and uh, I've got the 32A uh, board, PBT 32A board CPL D12 uh, unit. So um, I've gone ahead and updated the um, the uh, SPL H boot to the SPL H boot 1.33.2005. Um, I'm going to go ahead from now on uh, just do the screen um, or just film the screen of what I'm doing and then you'll be able to go ahead and follow what I'm doing based on what I'm telling you here. Okay, well let's just turn the camera around and what I've got here is the XDA development website and if you look here this is the address here. I'm going to go ahead and post that on my website or on the actual YouTube video. And the one that you want is the SPL HBoot 133.2005 uh, sign zip. That's the one you want. And what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and make that an updated update zip. So how you're going to do that is you're going to go ahead and download it by doing so. And when you do that, you're going to get the rapid share screen. Do that. Wait a little while and then you're going to get the download. You go ahead and download that. And you're going to go ahead and save that to um, your already installed SDK uh, 1.5 uh, from the SDK uh, download that I had presented to you earlier in one of my videos here. Um, you're going to put that in your tools directory. So I've got mine in my, in my uh, computer here under C drive. Program Files, SDK, Tools, and then I go ahead and put the update, or that file right in there. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and save it to that. And that's done. So now, when I go into my computer, C Drive, Program Files, Desktop, Tools, sorry for the shaky cam, guys. Just trying to do all this at once. You're going to see the update.engineer.spl uh, HBoot. That, my friends, is what you want to go ahead and just rename update. So I've already got it up here, so I'm not going to do it twice, um, but basically you're going to rename it update, and then you'll be set to go for that. Um, so now what you do is once you've done that, uh, you're going to go ahead and plug in your phone, which if you want to see, currently do have the actual Hero ROM on it. Uh, it is the actual real ROM. Um, if you want to look, got the uh, upgraded widgets. So I've got obviously the, uh, the the calendar, which already comes with it. I've got the bookmarks, which you can scroll through. You can click on any one of those. I've got different clocks, my people. I guess like in this case, I'm on the Rogers My Five, so I've gone ahead and put those people on there. And then I've also got the weather widget. The, if you click on that, or if you press on that, got my music, which you can actually scroll through. But since I've actually, since I've actually gone ahead and plugged my phone into the USB, you won't actually see any other songs for now. I've also got my, um, basically my message widgets, my message widgets. Okay, so that's that. Um, in terms of uh, going ahead, I guess I've already plugged mine in. Just say mount here, so we'll go ahead. Just make sure it's mounted properly. And when that happens, you'll go ahead on the computer here, and you'll go ahead and just press start. My computer, mine's under the <coughs> removable disk I under new volume. So I'll go ahead and open that. And you'll basically just go ahead from your uh, tools menu in your SDK uh, tools directory. You'll go ahead and just move that update file that you named, and you're going to move it over into your uh, drive here. Once you've done that, <clears throat> what you're also going to need to do is uh, make sure you've rooted your phone, which I think, um, I guess, to do that, uh, you don't necessarily actually have to have your phone rooted to update the SPL. So, um, turns out, sorry, let me correct myself. When you go ahead and move that SPL over and you do an update, you won't have to worry about that. So, how you do that, once you've moved it over, you can actually close uh, drive by simply going, pressing the menu button, going to the top here, 
turning off USB. Okay. And then you're going to want to turn off the phone. Let's power it off. Yes. When you go ahead and you turn on the phone, what you're going to want to do is simply put it into basically into fast boot mode by pressing this button, which is the end key, and the back key. So let's just go ahead and press that. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do with just the camera on one hand. What you're going to get is you're going to get the skateboarders at the bottom with the fast boot menu. If you look here closely, which I guess I can't hear because of the resolution of the camera, uh, and it does say in this case radio 3.22.20.17 H boot 1.33.2005 CPLD-12. Uh, it says Sapphire Unknown 32A ENG S dash off slash H. Okay, so what you're going to want to do at this point is you're also going to want to make sure that you download the uh, recovery image from uh, the actual uh, XDA development site, which is actually the recovery image for the unit I just actually mentioned to you, the one I have. So what you're going to want to do is go into the actual website that I'm about to post here as well, and you go into development, you go into do, 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 Sapphire development, give me a second guys. Again, sorry for the shaky cam, maybe a little too much coffee this morning, I don't know. Um, and you go into this link here, and someone kindly posted the actual um, uh, image that you need, which is the RAV1.OH image. Once you've downloaded that, you're also going to want to put that into your tools directory, which we had told you where to go. So in the SDK folder, you've got a tools directory, and in there, you put the actual image. Mine's actually just right, right here, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and open up your command prompt. And in this case, you're going to back out of whatever it says there. And you're going to go ahead and just put in the information accordingly here. So just, I'm going to put this down for a second, and I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. So first thing you want to do is type in where the actual directory is at, so where the SDK, where you put it. So in this case, in my case, it's CD, Program, Files, and then you're going to enter, and then you're going to go CD, uh, Android dash SDK dash Windows dash 1.5 underscore R2. Okay, and then you go to PD tools, and then it's going to look like this. Okay, and all you're going to do is you're going to go. ADB devices. ADB devices. And it's going to say a list of attached devices not there, but that's okay. That's just because you are in this mode. So if you were to go ahead and just plug in your phone and um, and do that, you should be able to see the uh, the actual serial number of your phone. But in this case, what we want to do is basically fast boot in that recovery image that we did. And what that does is it puts you in a fast boot recovery menu which um, you're actually just, you're not flashing, you're just actually doing it from your computer. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is, instead of actually writing everything down, you're going to go ahead and go rename, and then in this case, all I'm trying to do is just copy and paste. So copy, and then you're going to go into that in here, and you're just going to go um, fast boot. Boot. Because I've copied and pasted that link, that uh, file, and then you, when you do that, it's going to say downloading, boot image, image OK. Your phone is resetting, and when it does that, it's not resetting completely; it's resetting to uh, basically that recovery image boot menu. You're going to get something like this, okay? First one here says reboot system. Now you don't want. That.